And so let's say you make a mistake. You've hidden an emotion or you've hurled an emotion. Okay, so now you didn't get it that time. You didn't stop it from happening quick enough. That's okay. So stop and think, is that really true about me? All these terrible things I'm saying about myself right now? Because I believe when we beat ourselves up, it's again, it's another wall of having intimacy with ourselves. If you're sitting there busy beating yourself up, I suck. I can't believe I got so angry. Look what you're doing. You're, you're, t- you're detaching yourself one thing away from the feeling originally, right? So if the original feeling is that you feel abandoned or sad or lonely and you hurl or yell or something, now you're beating yourself up. I can't believe I yelled and everyone hates me. Well, but what about that original feeling though? The lonely, the sad, remember that one? You got to feel that because it's really easy to beat yourself up. You think it's a form of helping. Like, oh no, I'm, I'm, if I beat myself up, I won't do it again. You will do it again because now you're going to have shame. When we have shame, it makes us feel bad. And then there you go. If you have shame, you're probably not going to feel like you care enough about yourself to take steps to try to change things. So beating yourself up is a way to avoid intimacy with yourself. 